Hey guys, it's me Dave with Vokodo back with another tutorial. Uh, last time I showed you how to create these giant uh, redstone flux uh, reactors and today I'm going to show you how to convert that redstone flux to EU so you don't have to have multiple sources of energy, just uh, one and you can convert uh, between the two so you can have your industrial craft running off of, uh, essentially running off of redstone flux. And as you can see here, I've got this guy going. He's generating some electricity. And what I'm going to do oops, is I'm going to put this here. I'm going to set up this uh, EU adapter. I'm going to show you how to make this in just a second. But uh, what you can see is it has a couple of different inputs or faces here. There is um, the output and input. So we'll go output here, input there. We'll connect in. Uh, so redstone flux is going into it and let me get a, an MFSU and you can see now the redstone flux uh, reactor is charging up my MFSU so I'll be able to take this and I'll be able to convert this into my IC2 uh, machines let me get my materials ready and I'll show you how to create this guy real quick all right, so I've got all the materials I'm going to need to create this little machine that is eventually going to make us the sweet uh, redstone ingots. Uh, what you're going to need is a modular socket. Now, this is going to be very, um, it's going to be the main block for the little machine that we're going to make, and the machine chassis is going to be uh, something you're going to make a lot of. So, control uh, unit is very simple: gold nuggets and redstone. PSU is just lead, redstone, gold nuggets. Uh, the machine chassis is just aluminum or tin in gold nuggets. You get two of them. And then obviously a bucket and a chest. Uh, you're going to need two item inputs. These are with blank modules and a trap door. Blank module is, again, a machine chassis, some dye, glowstone, and panel. And you get a bunch of them. You get 12 of them. So that's not a big deal. Make two of those. You're going to need a machine output, which is going to be a hopper, a dispenser, and another blank module. And you're going to need a multi-smelter. This is going to be a PSU, which I showed you, blank module, a furnace, and either a nickel block or a ferrous block, which is obviously made from a full block of that corresponding ingot. Uh, the solar panel is what we're going to use for power. This is used with an energy input, which is a blank module and gold nuggets, PSU, and then seven of the daylight sensors. This is just the normal vanilla recipe for that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to set down your modular socket. Uh, you're going to grab, now where these go outside of the, um, the solar panel doesn't matter. Uh, you can place them on any side, but it, for convenience sake we're going to put them in specific spots. So what we're going to do is we're going to put uh, an input here, an input here, uh, we're going to put the output on this side, and then the multi-smelter over here. Solar panel obviously goes on top. So now that I have those in there, I'm going to grab a couple more things. So these are our two input sides here. Uh, the next item we're going to need is a socket remote. Uh, Ender Pearl, the control circuit, which I did show you, and then a blank module. What you're going to end up doing is you shift click this until you, you, can, you can change the modes, the color changes on it. What we want is initially the green mode, that is inventory select mode. Um, on one of the inputs, and you can see that the, the pop-up at the top shows you uh, how much power it's stored up and what is on each side of the block. Uh, on one of the input sockets, we're going to click and get a 0. On the other input socket, we're going to click and get a 1. For the output, the machine output, uh, we're going to triple click and make it a 2. Now we're going to shift click again on the socket remote until we get to the tank select mode. On the multi-smelter, we're going to click this twice and make it a 1. And I did forget that with the inventory select mode, we want to we want to click on this and make it a 0. So this should be your setup. Uh, the output is inventory select 2. The two inputs are inventory select 1 and 0. And the multi-smelter is tank select 1 and inventory select 0. Now what we're going to do is we're going to place down a couple of chests here for input. Now you can't place the chest directly next to it. Uh, they have to be, it has to be piped in using item ducts or piped out using item ducts. And we're going to do this. 
we're going to change this so it's input and input and change this so it's output turn that on so now the sweet redstone ingot what we need is obviously some redstone so let's grab a, let's grab a stack of redstone and we need sugar put redstone in one input chest put sugar in the other input chest turn these guys on you'll see that they'll go away and the machine once he gets them we'll start doing something you can see the RF is going down um, and the multi smelter which if you come over to the side is just going crazy now what it's doing is creating those sweet redstone uh, what is it called again? sweet redstone ingot that's what it's creating and you'll see over here bam now we've got sweet redstone ingot it's the only way to get it um, and that's how you make it with this uh, engineer's toolbox little little kit uh, this guy because he has a solar panel will power himself it's pretty much the simplest way to go about doing that but uh, just so you remember we have two inputs one for sugar one for redstone and then the output for the actual ingots now after you've done all of this you can go into the process of making the actual UE adapter um, which I showed you at the beginning of the show or at the beginning of the video um, has a couple uh, it has faces all over it but you've got output and input so uh, input redstone flux output EU which you can see we're doing right now with this guy and we're almost filling this MS MFSU up with this entire video which is uh, it's not too bad this is only outputting, oh, this is outputting 1800, so that's pretty good. I don't know what the conversion rate is, but um, this this guy's pretty much pretty simple and pretty unlimited when it comes with power. Um, so hopefully this was helpful for you, and now you can just run your entire uh, base off of just the two, the Redstone Flux as well as the, the EU without any trouble and, and not having to have two different setups. Uh, if this was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Uh, put a comment in the comment section if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions, I'll try and answer those. Uh, and check out my channel for more tutorials and some LPs. And like always, good luck and have fun.